Oh no! There went my gum. Yeah, I just lost my gum. There's a fish. That's a nice fish, actually. What's up guys? So, what we'll be doing today is we're gonna go fish. What we will be doing today is we're gonna go fish with our Kool-Aid soft plastic lures. Just in case you haven't seen one of these videos before. Basically what I've done is I've taken this, a pack of Kool-Aid like this. I don't keep Kool-Aid in my garage. I was just using it for video purposes. But, we take the Kool-Aid. We take a mold, a soft plastic mold right here, like this. We take an injector. We inject hot plastic with Kool-Aid mixed into it for the color. We make different color fishing lures. So right now I only have one color made up, so I'm gonna go fish them just to see if fish even like Kool-Aid. I mean, there's no telling. Fish, like the fish honestly might hate it. I mean, honestly, there's no telling what can happen. The fish might hate it and you know, I'll never catch another fish again for the rest of my life because they hated it so much. This morning, we're gonna go try to get on a Kool-Aid fish bite. It rained for a while last night. So hopefully the fish will be all happy to be alive this morning and they'll be ready to eat. So I will talk to y'all on the water. All right guys, so luckily before we left the house, we tied on some stuff, so we're not like at a total loss and it just started to rain again. So we might have to run up back to the house. All right, beautiful people. What we have here is two packs of our Kool-Aid Zinkos. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to hit some fish on. Go ahead and rig one up and get to fishing. We are going to be trying to catch a fish on every single color of the soft plastics that we have in this bag and in the bag down there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the, I believe this was the Tropical Punch flavor Kool-Aid with the blue and purple flake in it. So we're going to start off with this one. We're going to see if fish like Kool-Aid this evening. We saw day. Really all I need is one fish and I will be satisfied just to know that fish, like a fish, was tempted to eat my Kool-Aid fishing lure. That's all I need. Just one fish. Challenge video over with one fish. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. On the freaking Kool-Aid. That's on freaking Kool-Aid. And he probably swallowed that too. Jeez Louise, that's a decent fish. Look at that right there on the Kool-Aid. Number one on our Kool-Aid soft plastics. You can't beat that and he's chunky too. There's definitely a 10 pounder somewhere in here, not gonna lie. Soft plastics, here we go. See you later, dude. Be safe. Wrong way. I'm gonna do this, come on. Give us a little, there we go, we'll take it. Fish number one. I should have taken a picture with him. Guys, I just did like a whole commentary thing about these lures and it wasn't recording. So basically what I said, in a nutshell, the first fish that we caught, we caught it on the blue and purple Kool-Aid lures. The bait that we have tied on right now is just blue and black flake. So here we go, that is a beautiful weightless rig job. Look at that bend right there. We're not even gonna fix that. We're just gonna cast it out. We just had a fish eat a Kool-Aid fishing lure. How many, who can say that they've done that before? They fish with Kool-Aid. Oh no, there went my gum. Yeah, I just lost my gum. There's a fish. That's a nice fish, actually. Oh God, sorry dude. Did he swallow the hook too? Hopefully not. Chill out, I'm not gonna drop you. Cause I'm a man and you're a fish. So I'm always gonna win that battle. Um, see you later, dude. I'm gonna turn you this way so you can swim off and be free. Be alert. There you go, hey, amen. Here we go. All right guys, we're gonna rig up the plain tropical punch. Soft plastic and see if we can catch a fish on it. If the fish care about the flake or not. We're about to answer that question. I wish they would like be like a regular fish and just pull, pull, pull. There's actually there's probably like a three plus pound fish just sitting right there. Can't even see it. Um, if I go like 25 minutes here and don't catch another fish, there's another fish right there actually. Oh yeah! Hi, <laughs> ah, got you. On the dude, these 
freaking Kool-Aid's off plastics are killing. We caught a fish in all the colors. Now we can just fish for fun. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Give me a little fist bump, dude. This Oh yeah. Give me a little fist bump. Hey right, guys, that's the fish right there. We're gonna give him back to the water. See you later. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to kill you guys. I almost whacked Macy with this lure. These fish, I guess they're like stacked in this little spot right here, so. We're gonna keep. Yeah, she real deal just called. I was about to hit her and I almost hit her. So we just kind of stepped over out of the way a little bit. Oh, that was a good. Jeez Louise, that was actually a really good fish. Like he was like, doom, doom, doom. There's a fish. There's not a fish. Last time I was here, I got destroyed by a dog. I'm not gonna say the scariest, but that was that was actually kind of scary. Not gonna lie, like because I knew like I knew it wasn't gonna do anything, bro. But like he was, yes, bro. People didn't understand like how big that dog was. There we go. There's a fish. Oh wow, he's a flyer. Do it again. Oh yeah. He is a little feisty sucker. Look at that. Oh yeah. Give me some good slow-mo for the video. Come do it for the camera, please. It's just a high flyer. Watch him. Do it again. That is a largemouth bass. That is the species that we are targeting today, guys. A largemouth bass is one of the most beautiful freshwater fish in America. You cannot change my mind behind maybe like a peacock bass and my line is going to be wrapped in all types of different types of knots that i don't know how to untie so i'm going to grab him like a man grab him really firm jiggle our hook out of him as so now we got to figure out how we're going to get this line out of his mouth because we managed oh look at that look at that was easy we got our fish here we're going to name him tucker just because he looks like a tucker hopefully he'll do a little flip for us because he was doing them earlier or not Okay, cool Tucker. Tree that's in the water right here. We're just gonna cast, that's a little bit to the right or left of it, I'm not really sure. Hopefully we can jack a 10 pounder out of here though. That was a fish. It's actually a fish right there. Ooh. Oh man, that was a whole fish that I just missed. As we have made it back to our place of living, I'm standing under the tailgate of my car because it's currently raining outside in the outdoors. So, oh Lord. I'm being attacked by raindrops, so we're gonna go back in the house. Actually, we're just gonna stand in the garage. It would really help if the camera would stop fogging up, but it's raining, so you can't really be mad at it. I have a lot of ideas for some cool colors and stuff that we can make, color combinations using Kool-Aid and some different stuff. I'm not gonna show it to you on the video in this video, but be tuned because these videos are definitely coming up soon. Also, I have a lot of cool videos coming out in the future, some stuff that y'all are definitely gonna wanna see, so stay tuned for that. But we got some blue, red, or we got pink lemonade, blue raspberry. This will basically be like a bubble gum color, I'm hoping, but who knows? A couple mix-ups with colors of Kool-Aid. I think I said that right, yeah. Colors like pink lemonade, blue raspberry for blue, orange, and we also got this one. I'm really excited for this. Yellow to make lemonade. It'll just be cool to see what types of colors we get. So I'll probably combine all these in one video because I don't want to overdo the Kool-Aid videos on the channel because I know eventually you're going to be like, oh, all he does is make Kool-Aid fish and lures, but it's so cool. Like this is, you can literally eat this or you can, put it in fishing lures and fish will eat it instead. So, so make sure that you're staying tuned for that. Also, if this lens would stop fogging up, I would be so happy. That would just, that would make my day. That would make my day. I need to get a different one. Um, I'm gonna get a different lens when my camera comes back. You know, when I went to Tallahassee, it kinda had a little, my camera went for a swim in the water. So um, we get it back from Canon, I'll get a better lens, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So when we walk outside and it's raining, but it's cold in the house, it's hot outside, humid, We'll just have clear, crisp, pretty video like we want to have on these videos. I'm telling you if this lens don't stop fogging up. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We caught four fish today. That was pretty decent. Honestly, you never know. Fish don't think the same as humans. So, you know, we see Kool-Aid and we're like, oh yeah, we want some Kool-Aid. But, you know, fish, they might not think the same thing. They see Kool-Aid fish. They smell the Kool-Aid and they're like, yeah, I don't want any of that, bro. I think it's pretty cool that we were able to catch a fish on something that we made, first of all, and then it's Kool-Aid. Before I have a lot of stuff, I have some stuff that I'm not going to show y'all, but it's sitting right here just so you know. 
just to tease y'all a little bit to help you so you'll come back and watch the next video I have a lot of cool stuff that's coming out some stuff that you guys have requested I have done and those videos will be out soon so, so I really appreciate all the support on the channel thank y'all for watching the video um have a couple trips coming up. I'll also be going inshore fishing here pretty soon, so that'll be really cool. Stay tuned for that. I feel like I need to be quiet because I don't want to spoil any surprises for y'all. But just know that you need to stay tuned to this channel because it's about to go from here to here. And then hopefully like all the way up there. Like it's about to go from here to here. And then eventually it'll be just like appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. If you want anything I want to see, any ideas you have, just comment them down below. I definitely read my comments, so just let me know what you want to see, what you're feeling, what you think will be good content for the channel. But until I talk to y'all again, which will hopefully be in a couple days, fish them hard and have a good day. I just feel like somebody's watching me. Guys, if you're still watching this point, go to my Instagram, go to the latest picture, and comment Big Mouth Bass under it. And I'm trying to get that movement started of people starting to use the term Big Mouth Bass, which I feel like large mouth is such a term. Large mouth is a good term, but I feel like it's outdated. So many people have used it for so long. So I feel like my community, we should call them Big Mouths. I understand that they're large mouths, and you can't just change a name of a fish like that, but I feel as if the term Big Mouth Bass is more suitable because the mouth is big. Not all mouths are large. I feel like big is a better word. Large is too long of a word. Big Mouth Bass. Big Mouth Bass. Fish them hard. Don't you just love it when the camera's this close to your face? My whole next video I'm gonna do like this. See y'all later. I know I've said that twice, but see y'all later. Fish them hard. Ha ha!